All right, guys, welcome back to the Road to SSL series in 3v3. Today is episode number five, and we're going to be Sizzo for today. So thank you so much to Rob for that recommendation. You guys really liked this one, so this is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, definitely drop a comment if you want to see your name pop up in some of the future videos. But let's quickly make this photo and hope it doesn't turn out too cursed. So I thought for today we'd actually do something different. Since you guys have Sizzo as the recommendation for today, I thought we would do a bit of a face morph or like combination of the two. So I grabbed two pictures of Rizzo and Sizz, and we're basically going to take the two photos and mix them together and see what happens. Sort of like a love child of the two. All right, so we'll start with Sizz. It says click on the top of the head. Okay, so like right here, bottom of the chin, <laughs> left of the face, click right of face and finish. So it's like, did I, did I, did I not want to like, did I want to go here? <laughs> finish. Perfect. Click three points on each eyebrow, the highest point, the inner point. Oh my goodness, this thing's involved. Okay, place five points on each eye as shown in the picture oh my goodness okay so place three points on the nose as shown and the mouth too okay place three points on the hairline as shown in the picture if you can't see the hairline guess where it is oh my goodness guys this uh, this has to be it right finish all right click on the top of the head click on the bottom of the chin all right so now i need to now i need to like morph these so i click this oh here we go oh no uh all right, let's just morph together let's see what happens what? What? No. 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 What have I created? Okay, I cleaned it up a little bit in Photoshop, but oh my goodness, I never want to see this photo ever again. I hope you guys enjoyed this little uh, different, different way of making this photo. Uh, this thing is cursed. It definitely looks like a mix of them, but I just don't know why it looks so bizarre. I, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, let's get into the episode. Let's see how it goes. All right, now that we have this wonderful photo ready for us, let's jump into the next episode. We've got, uh, Champ 1 Division 3 so far at 11.28. We're actually gaining a lot of MMR right now, and I believe it's because we haven't lost a game yet. Um, I'm not hoping that we lose the game, but at the same time, it would be good if we, you know, had more content for the, the series, but I'm gonna try my best, like I said, just to match the, the rank and, and fill, um, uh, fill in for my teammates. I think we're going to be playing a bit more of a reserve role this this time around. Hopefully, we can we can actually fulfill that role. Uh, let's jump into the next games. We're going to be probably doing three to four, uh, like usual. But make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. We're actually, um, you know, keeping up the series and other videos in between. We're doing daily videos like like always. And I hope you guys enjoyed the additional video on the weekend with Musty. Let's jump into the next game. See how it goes. We got the first game. We got Jake on our team and uh, Joe Kier or Gal. We'll just call him Galaxy. And uh, a couple of sign-up players on the other team. Like we said, we've we've been finding a lot of sign-up players this rank uh, and below. But as you move up, you see less and less. Got the mid boost and wait behind. Great shot for my teammate. Could be a decent backward chance. I see my teammate might turn on this. So I'm just gonna wait. And there's the goal. Really, really well played by Galaxy. First touch uh, was really high off the backboard. And they, uh, they have an AFK, actually. He just showed up at the very last second, right before the goal scored. So, a little unfortunate, but the first 10 seconds have been pretty good so far. Just grabbed the mid-boost. Didn't have to do too much. We got two points. <laughs> we got two points. Let's go. See if Jake touches the ball. He, he does touch it. Now he's going to stay with it. Good. And there's a shot. Didn't have to do too much there. Just watched in middle. Um, just waiting for the pass off the backboard. Uh, Jake had a really good touch to keep it close. And then they ended up bumping each other on the side. So, this is definitely very, very open for a shot. I could have even shot that more left, but... Hitting it pretty high is good because uh, kick. I'm just gonna call him kick, uh, just so I don't get flagged. <laughs> um, he uh, he wasn't in a good position, so I could pretty much shoot that anywhere I want. All right, decent touch on the backboard. Bit of a miss and an open shot once again. I'm not even doing that much. I'm actually at the bottom of the scoreboard. We've had a lot of this in the past too. Uh, in three v three, you can actually get a get away with a lot. Um, you can make a lot of errors and still you know be all right at these kind of ranks. Um, so you can really kind of just sometimes let yourself be carried. Oh, there's there's so much uh, opportunity for positioning in unorthodox ways in 3v3 that um, there's not like one play style that works in 3v3. So don't let people, oh, oops. Don't let people in ranked, uh, you know, tell you you can or cannot uh, play a certain way. I mean, there obviously are certain wrong ways, but there are a lot of play styles that just don't mesh with each other. I'm gonna fake this so it just goes up high. There we go. Pop it up nice and high once again. See if Jake follows it. Good follow up. See, I can, I'm already pushing up field because I trust that he's making the, the touch down the field. And uh, I'm able to catch it and throw it towards the net. It wasn't like that complicated. I think that like 
the catch was a little bit strong and there was a guy trying to challenge and I just threw it towards net. But honestly, Jake made a really good play to uh, throw it down the field. And we have one guy alone in a minute and a half. I don't think this guy knows. Okay, there we go. Yeah, you can leave after uh, after someone leaves. You're not going to get any more of a, you know, uh, a punishment. You already lost the game. But if someone leaves, there's no there's no additional punishment for... Uh... Let's party up. Sure. Why not? Oh, Jake left. <laughs> That's good to know. Yeah, we'll play with this guy. Sure. Why not? I... Oh, uh, okay. Well, I hope he doesn't Q2s. Standard. Okay, sweet. Woo! Wait, bro, this guy pulled me into a twos game. I said threes only. What is happening? This guy just pulled me into a twos game. I said threes only. I should have gotten party leader. I even said like, can you give me lead? Cause I was afraid this would happen. And here we are, we're in a twos game. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe that. That's actually incredible. I said threes three times, threes only. And he said twos, like question mark. No, threes. Just trying, I'm just trying to record a road to SSL. <laughs> uh. What? <laughs> what? Okay, I'm leaving this guy's party. <laughs> what? And he owned gold. <laughs> Dude, what is what is going on? Go for the shot here. Should be a shot for my teammate. Easy save. <laughs> I just want to leave this game, man. Please let me escape. All right. Well, that was uh, that was an interesting experience in this series. Um, I dude, I don't even know what just happened. I have no idea. I don't understand, dude. He wants to party up again. I don't trust him. I'm leaving. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry, Joker or Galaxy. You know, I, I, I accepted your embrace with open arms, but you betrayed me. You absolutely betrayed me. All right, we're back in three v three. You know, as as intended. Uh, we got Sway's Express and Analogy. I'm so sorry for Galaxy, but honestly, I I don't trust him. He partied up again with me. He would have been leader. I'm I'm scared to get into another twos game. Not the greatest touch, but my teammates uh a little backwards too. I'll stay with us again. A nice 50 50. Now I can just move behind. I could have moved up, but I see my teammates want to be involved, so get behind. Nice shot. Good try. Get the demo. This guy's going to beat me here, so what I'm going to do is just going to fake until he throws the ball into me. There he goes. Keep the ball close as well. Oh, my teammate left. All right, he could have been there, but he just like decided to back out. You can see how he spaced out really far. You want to make sure that you space closer for those passes so you can receive them nice and close to your teammate. A decent touch, but at the same time, I know that uh, that guy should probably should have been there for that pass. I don't know. So far, like it seems like at this rank, like people aren't really like ready for passes in a in a specific position. Also, no one's covering midfield right there either. Like when the ball spills out mid, no one's pushing out. Like you have to create an active defense right here. Express should be pushing out. There's no reason to make yourself further away from the play. Like if Sways went right for that that bounce instead, he would have made it a lot more difficult and it would have closed the uh, the angles of uh, of all the shots. See what Sailbright does here. Good pop. Both of them are backwards. Okay, my teammate did take that. I could have probably left, but I didn't know he was there. A little bit dangerous to go as last man there, too. All right. Interesting choice. To be a backward touch. I know I said I, was, I know I said I was gonna play a little more reserved, but that was a pretty free double. Um, if you get used to these touches where you can like smack them with the backboard, if no one's defending them, I do just like kind of guide your car to that angle. I know that's like. Oh, of course, makes it seem so simple. But as long as you like get the solid touch, it's all about that first touch. Um, whenever you're practicing a free play, do that first touch over and over and over again in free play until you get uh, solid contact to the point where you can follow the aerial. Then it, it becomes a, a simple aerial after the fact. Like it's the same as jumping from the floor as long as your first touch is solid enough. Let this guy touch the ball. You see how it just feeds it out to, well, I was gonna say it's, <laughs> I was gonna say, see how that feeds out to my teammate? Like right here, once he makes this touch off the wall, my teammates were both backwards. So that's definitely not the not the case, but it should have been fed out to one of my teammates who were ready for that, but they weren't in a position to be able to make a, a touch. Boop. Decent aerial. Baker's gonna be on this, so be a little bit careful. You can see how I'm waiting for that touch instead. See if Swayze can shoot it. Good try. 
and ended up going in. I didn't expect that. I was trying to get the 50 50 with that guy, but ended up going top left. Um, right here, see how I, I'm talking about this in the last few episodes, where like holding that midline defense can cause a lot more pressure. Oh, I ended up redirecting off the guy's uh, front of his car. That's why. All right. As I, I did say I was going to play more reserve, but so far it's not the case. I need to chill out a little bit. Haven't really been doing too much, though. It's a good touch for my teammate. I could have taken that and passed it over to my teammate, but I like that he's still trying to keep possession. What I'm going to do is pass his middle if I can. Oh, good cutoff, though. Decent touch. Okay, my teammate knows that I'm here, so he's not going. I'll pop this up nice and high. You can see how much more pressure this causes just by me uh, putting it really high up. Two players go for it, and a great shot on the corner, too. So, me po popping it off the backboard really high like that, what ends up happening is that this guy uses all of his boost. You can see he has no boost to recover now. And there's a guy sitting in mid, so it's an open shot, and Alan was trying to get boost as well. There's so many people that waste boost just from having a high touch because they're not ready for the opportunity of that, of that high touch. Let's see if analogy stays with this. Good flick. Good save from Alan. I'm wait for this guy to make a touch. Good try. So he throws it away. If he tries to chase it, um, it's alright too. Once again, um, my teammate was ready for it, so it's better that I just back off. See, I'm just keeping it close with my touches. That way, nothing really too bad happens. Like, even if you get a 50-50, it's to a safe position out of the corner. This guy throws the ball away with that touch, so I'm going to pop it off the backboard again. Make Alan waste all of his boost. Probably will miss, too. Decent try. It was definitely open. Wait for him to get super close, then I pop it around him. You can see how if I wait for the opponent to get super close to the play, and then immediately add some extra momentum, it's really hard to, uh, to account for in that position. A little bit dangerous since I am last man, but hopefully I can bump this guy. There we go. Kind of know that he wants to jump up for it, so I'm waiting for him to jump and then go for the, the demo play. Right here, I want to catch this because I'm last man for a while. So I make sure to catch it softly so it pops up the wall. And now Baker has to make an awkward touch. I see Alan go down, so I'm just going to pop it off the, the bump. Pop up the backboard again and then back out. Use the rest of my boost so I can recover fast. Could have grabbed that corner as well. Ended up missing it. Could pop towards the middle. I'm last man here, but I have lots of time. You can see how I can turn around on it once the bounce is not more favorable for me. And then all the players that are pushing up for me end up putting themselves out of position. Good touch off the corner. Oh, is he following it? Good try. I see the opponent's right there, so I want to cut that off. I do hand it out into middle, but it is zero seconds, and we we are up two goals, so it's pretty safe. And there we go. Another win. Another solid game there. Um, my teammates played pretty well. There's a few positions on defense where they could have been a little more active, but I think overall they, they did play pretty well mechanically and uh, rotation-wise. Yeah, so yeah, obviously I did play a little bit too heavy there, but, uh, you know, we're Division 4 of Champion 1. We're going to be moving up. Honestly, I've actually seen some pretty uh, high-level players at this rank, too. Just like, because, I mean, like, I, by high-level, I mean, like, GC2. Because, honestly, that you can get placed pretty low here after the reset. So if, you're, if you are new to the season and you, you start playing now, you might be at this point. So we might run into some pretty good players in the future of this series. All right, in the last game, we're actually seeing some 1200s now. We got a partied up uh, players on the other team. And we've got some, I think, Xbox players? I don't really know. But yeah, obviously I did play a little bit too fast in the last game, so I'm going to try and play a little more third man here. See if they make it clear. Good. I'm going to go for a bump here, so I know that. So I'm just trying to pop over him the second he tries to jump at me. I already, I am already paying attention to the, attention to the fact that Kraft Punk is playing pretty uh um pretty aggressive as far as like demos go so i'm gonna keep in mind of that in the uh, the future of this game so i'm just gonna watch out for him you can see how he's like trying to zoom down the field and try to get demos in the way but because of that he left an open goal there i grab a few boost pads here too instead of going all the way back because i do have like 60 boosts bit of a miss i'll be a little bit careful of that air that ch the challenge i just made i know i could beat him but if you aren't sure definitely heading back is the better option a decent touch Got the back corner boost. Teammates kind of flailing around. Wait for the touch off the backboard here. Oop. Good patience pace by my teammate to wait for that. Gotta be a little bit careful of the uh, immediate shot, so I'm gonna block that for my teammate who's got stars in his name. Oh, good try. Good try again. Okay, so my teammate's moving behind me, so I wanna make sure I don't just sit behind and, and become in the same position as him. So I do want a challenge there, or else I will just give. Uh, the opponents a uh, play on the same position on two players and also there my teammate was a little bit too slow so i'm glad of that i went see my teammate gets up it for the challenge good play good probably wait for this he ended up zooming into the corner he probably shouldn't have though it's a decent uh shot to the middle as well so so far if my teammates just like position a little bit further back for opportunities we could get a few more opportunities for goals as well um 
We'll see if he decides to pass this middle. Decent shot. That's pretty open. I should definitely be there. I don't. I don't feel like I should uh, wait on that one. I'm once again. I'm at 220 points just because I waited in the right position. Like I definitely look how much open space there was. I should definitely be scoring this. There's not. not there's not a single time where I shouldn't be. You know, rolling that ball in, especially at champ champ two, because I believe that 1200 is probably champ two since we're champ one division four. But honestly, so far, like we're just trying to position solid solid defense, solid positioning. Trying to be careful of the demos, like I said. Hops around the corner. I'll let my teammate with the stars go. I don't know why his teammate's name is Stars. Right here, I should jump out for this because the, the opponent will touch this if I don't go for it. The way that I jump off there is I, I make sure that I'm stable before I jump off, and then I just use the boost as if it's an aerial once again. You might need to do a bit of a. Okay, I can't tell you right now because the guy's going to take a shot. Okay, he ended up leaving the ball. I don't know why. He could have kept pressure there. The way that I do this is if I'm jumping off the wall like this, if you're not comfortable with jumping off the wall and aerialing upside down, what you can do is get a shot, get save. Um, you can jump off the wall and then immediately turn around with the air roll and then go for the aerial and then it'll feel pretty normal. Get pop across. Not the greatest touch from Golden, but not in too much pressure. My teammate should turn for this. Not the greatest touch either, but my teammate is also there. It's a good small ball there. Teammates up. Both players are up. Good shot. Oh my gosh. What, what is happening? Oh my goodness. Okay. So he's going to stay with this. I'll move behind. Wait for my teammate. The decent touch could pop up. I'll go for this off the backboard. That way it's free. If I try to go for the target right there, um, it would have been nice shot. It would have been blocked by them because they're trying to block the angles of the net. So I know that if I go a little bit higher, it might leave a, an opening for my teammate, which it does. Because in that situation, um, it's two players going for the ball. So me beating them is way more valuable than trying to shoot the goal. So just think about the gradual and eventual pressure that you'll get from the touches you make. And that'll definitely help elevate your game. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Definitely an interesting one being dragged into a 2v2 game randomly. Uh, <laughs> as you can see, we ended up being like, I think in 1500, which is where all the SSL players get sucked into from the MMR drop from the start of the season. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Oh, also, we're champ. Well, I, I keep doing this. We're champ 2 division 2. <laughs> all right. See you guys.